Hey everyone, welcome back to U.S. Mint News and Reviews for September 6, 2023. I'm Stacker. Let's get to it. Now, here we are at the bullion sales. Sales totals are updated every weekday by 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And would you look at this? We've got some tales to tell for September. So 3,500 gold one ounce coins that's right and look at this 700,000 american silver eagles so what i'm looking at here when i look at the sales totals for the american silver eagle yeah we have about 4 million for january right and those totals are probably two months combined december and january then it tapered down to 900,000 for 3 months and then here 1.5 million 1.4 million then we ramp it up to 2 million here 3 million over here for august so does that mean that we could see four million almost like we did in january of 2023 i think so we might have a pattern going here where the u.s mint is ramping up their american silver eagle sales and what does that mean for the premium well not too much for right now look at 839 is what you're going to be paying for an in-stock american silver eagle and they're going to pay you 25 dollars and six cents each over here at moneymetals.com now over here to coinnews.net there's an article by Rhonda k i highlighted that because usually it's mike unser maybe he's on vacation maybe he's done i don't know but either way thank you Rhonda k here we go the title of this article is u.s mint sales mississippi innovation one dollar debut and i've got to tell you there's some head scratching moments here I don't know what happened, but I got to I will point this out to you. It's kind of incredible. And uh, I'll even have a quiz when we're looking over here. It's not a quiz. I'm just kidding. Now, it says here the leading products in this week's United States sales figures were newly released innovation dollars from Mississippi. That's the Lunger coin there. They launched on August 28th with a design celebrating the first human lung transplant in the last about 18 days. And they, uh, I think they died of renal fa failure, kidney failure, uh, and not any complications due to the lung transplant. So that's kind of incredible. That's why they call it a success. The dollar is the last of the four for 2023 from the U.S. Mint's American Innovation $1 coin program. So the rest of the ones that we're going to see for this year are the proof set and the reverse proof set for the American Innovation coins. And I think most people really do dig that reverse proof coin set. And it used to be, uh, back in when it first started, individual in their own beautiful packaging. But COVID happened and all that stuff happened, and, uh, well, they consolidated into one lens, all right? Now, this product runs from 2018 to 2032, and let's let's admit it, that's kind of exhausting for a coin set, all right? Offered in options of 25 coin rolls, 100 coin bags, at 34.50 and 117.50, respectively, the Mississippi Innovation Dollar logged opening sales of combined 780,000 coins. That's a good bit of money. Now, it says here the previous strike in the series promoting the automobile in, uh, industry in Indiana. And honestly, folks, it's either the Indiana coin this year or the Ohio coin this year that are probably going to be the top dogs for the all four issues this year. Now, it says here it experienced a better opening at 841,000 coins when it hit the market. So there you go. That Indiana coin had a better opening. I'm just telling you. Now, the second dollar debuted in April. Recognized innovation in Louisiana started with early sales of 785,000 coins. And the first innovation dollar, which kicked off in January 2023, celebrated innovation in Ohio and recorded sales of 689,700 coins on the first days of its release. Now, here's where it really gets interesting. And see if you can see what I see or it's what we don't see. That's right. Check this out. That says here, U.S. Mint Topley's top sellers. Did I say Topley? Taking into account non-bulk sales, and they really should. They really ought to put bulk sales maybe off to the side over here. That would be awesome. Because let's face it, the bulk people there, they get not only um, the American Silver Eagles, but they also get the Morgan and Peace dollars. I don't know why that's flashing like that, but whatever. Now, the first spot's taken by the Mississippi American Innovation 25-coin roll from Philadelphia. The second spot is the Denver roll for Mrs., uh, Mississippi. But look at this. The proof set have strong sales here, and that's the proof set from 2023. And like I said, that probably has a limited mintage that's probably going to be, what, 375,000? This year's is 399, almost at that 400,000 mark, all right? Now, look at this. The Mississippi American Innovation coin, that's the 100-coin bag, sold 2,142. That was from Philadelphia. The next one, number five spots taken by the Denver Mississippi American Innovation at 2,078. But look at this. What? Yeah, where did that come from? The number six spots taken by the W-proof Silver Eagle sold almost 1,500 units to add to that total to 426,408. But look at this. 
The number seven spots taken by the proof Morgan silver dollar added 1,256. And the, my question is, where in the wide world of sports is that proof peace dollar? What's up with that? Where'd it go? Now, the next spot's number eight spot is the Philadelphia American Liberty Silver Medal. Sold 784 to bring the total to 24,541. And will we see a 75 that we look? That's 50,000 more of these that the Mint has to sell in order to completely deplete, completely deplete the inventory for that American Liberty Silver Medal. Now, number nine spot, look at this. American Women Quarters proof set. What? Yeah. That's back up in the top 10. Again, at 705, sold 48,045. And I think that one had a total mintage this year, about 75,000, which is way overboard. Uh, the first year, in 2022, they only made about 45 or 50,000 of those. So they definitely increased the mintage production on that one as well. Now, number 10 spots taken by the uncirculated Silver Eagle sold 536 of those bad boys for 127,953. In its latest report, the U.S. Mint published sales data for 354 numismatic products. Among those 354 products, 75 of them outperformed their sales from the previous week compared to 63 in the prior report. Not counting for the new products, three products experienced an increase of more than 1,000 units against two in the previous report. What do you think that means, folks? It's just kind of really, I mean, it's kind of, Stay the same, I think. Now, meanwhile, there were nine products that saw negative weekly sales as opposed to three previously. Most notably among those were last week's Shining Stars, the 2023 Andrew Johnson Presidential Silver Medal fell by 1,100 units, and the 2023 Silver Proof set declined by what? 12,835. That was... Now, wouldn't it be nice if the Mint was a little bit more communicative and would explain why these came back? Was it because... Uh, declined credit card sales where there's a quality control issue. What is the story? We got to know. Now it says here, U.S. Mint sales numismatic products below our table showing the latest available sales for U.S. Mint numismatic products. The sales period covers from August 28th to September 3rd. It is September 6th. That was three days ago. Products with an asterisk are no longer available or had no reported sales. But look at this. Morgan and Peace Silver Dollars, and I really wish that the um, folks over there at coinnews.net would actually add the 2021, yeah, you know what I'm talking about, to this total here, all right, on this chart. Wouldn't that be something? Anyway, so looking at this, you can see here that the bulk dealers are going in big. Look at that. And, and an additional 23% has been sold for the proof Morgan Silver Dollar. And look, at that's just incredible. And that was a 23% increase, but look at this. The piece proof, all right, sold 61 of those bulk packages. Now, that's why I would really like to see the bulk sales, because they do show bulk sales, but I would like to see which ones the bulk sailors are number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. That way we would kind of get an idea of where, because look, those bullion dealers, those dealers, they know what's hot, and they're going to buy what's hot and not what's not hot. Does that make sense? Look at this piece uncirculated silver dollar lost 16 of those. So that has 258,872. And I don't believe those are available anymore. Um, and if you do find them, congratulations. Those are the mid states. And they had a total mintage or at least stated product limit of 275,000. But really, we are at 258,872. And then the Morgan uncirculated is at 260,709. Let's keep on keeping on. Look at this American Liberty products. Look at that. Those are two big bumps right there. The gold coin for American Liberty sold an additional 2.5%, which is 217 units. Look at that, a 3.3% increase for the American Liberty silver medal. And that thing is a beauty. It really is just a gorgeous design. But look at the clad proof sets. I'm telling you, that was a big, big bump right there for that particular clad proof set. That is incredible. And there's last year's at 399. And I believe this year we're going to be a bit lower than that at 375. But look at this, out of nowhere. RKO out of nowhere right there. 2023 American Women Quarters proof set, almost 1.5% increase. Bam, that's incredible. Look at that, though. That's something else right there. That's almost 10% of their sold, total sold inventory right there. 8.12%. 12,835. That's a pretty serious decline. That's amazing. Let's keep on keeping on. I got a lot to cover. There's ornaments. Look at that. Those are increased. And look at how big this ornament page is getting. It's kind of ridiculous, actually. Um, it, wow, right? Look at that. 4.34% for the Edith Kanaka Ole ornament. We're looking at Eleanor Roosevelt, 2.35, and then Hobie Thiedad at 1.82, and then Maria Tallchief at 1.67. 
that is something else now look at this proof and reverse proof eagles yeah that's out of nowhere 1497 and i was like wait a minute let's find out what's what here yep look at that so there it is it's still available all right this is the one that came out earlier in the year i don't know what that's doing goodbye american eagle 2023 one ounce silver proof coin 80 dollars add the bag and how many are left well look at this bam nope bam i don't even know what i'm doing anymore there it is <laughs> yeah sorry about the bams available count nine thousand nine hundred and thirty four of the american silver eagle proof from west point new york is still available that's just incredible folks incredible now let's keep on keeping on now uncirculated didn't have a huge pop probably because these were available i would think now let's keep on going look at this now here's something about the gold coins usually three three every time we do this video gold coins have popped at least one percent well not this time the only one to pop this time is still that one tenth ounce sold 177 for 1.36 um 2022 that usually doesn't have anything but look at this nothing no new tail to tell really for an increase there for the gold eagles all right and look at the buffalo they didn't even hit one percent either so that's really interesting let's keep on going here look at that presidential silver medals lost 1117 for almost a nine percent decrease for those sales totals over here isn't that something that's that's definitely an eye opener. Now, speaking of an eye opener, here we are at the American Innovation Dollars for Indiana. They both had a pop on that hundred coin bag, and those are one hundred and seventeen dollars, I believe. It's one of the only products that the well, there's a few products that the United States Mint did not increase the prices for this year, and that was the uh, basically the Innovation Dollars, the Native American Dollars, and maybe I think the Kennedy Half Dollars. I might be mistaken about the Kennedy Half Dollars, but either way. Almost a 2.5% increase for both 100-coin bag from Indiana. Louisiana here. And look at the Ohio one. That one popped out of nowhere. Look, 1.14%. So that was the first one. Second one. Third one. And then fourth one that came out. Mississippi. Yep. We're not going to see any of those until next week. Let's find out what's going on there. But look at that. I mean, we're almost at that production limit for both of these. There's 8,000, 6,000, almost 7,000. And remember, Denver had fewer totals that available than the Philadelphia Mint did. All right. I'm almost done here. Been talking way too much. Been yabbering, yapping, and jabber John. And I think that is about it, except for these two last ones. Kennedy Half Dollar Rolls had an increase right there. That's a 200 coin bag, Philadelphia and Denver, an increase of 1.7%. But look at this. The Hyobiti Dar, wow. Negatives all the way around. 10%, 9.6%, 11.27%, and 2%. And that's probably why we're seeing that three roll set still available even right now as we speak. Now let's go to those plus ones, folks. Bam, this is Psalm 82.8. It says, Arise, O God, judge the earth, for you shall seek your inheritance among the nations. And I believe what that means, and I, I probably this is a big stretch, but since human judges are corrupt, we must work to make sure that justice prevails in this world because the maintenance and equity, maintenance of equity and justice is a prerequisite for the continued existence of the world. That's huge. Judge the earth, you shall seek your inheritance. That's amazing. That's an eye-opener right there. Bam. They're humans, right? And this is, well, not full screen, but let me go full screen there. Bam. Yeah. This is the Damned Alone Again Or. This is a really cool song. Cool guitar. It is in D, so either way, I like it. I dig it. I hope you do, too. And I want to wrap it up here. I want to thank everybody for coming. Thanks for subbing the channel. We really, look at this. I had block for YouTube. Rate us. All these things are popping up on this new computer. Boy, they really got all these notifications, I tell you. Anyway, either way, I want to thank you all for coming. Thanks for dropping by. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you do like what you hear and see, sub the channel. It's free. We'll talk soon. Stack her out.